Hi, Peter McReynolds here with another product review. This time the Windsor & Newton Bristol model, the watercolor Bristol easel for painting. I have to stress the watercolor aspect because there are two Bristol easels from Windsor & Newton. One for oil painting and one for watercolor and the heads are quite different. It all comes in this neat little package here. It looks like you're a professional billiards player or something, but the whole easel comes in this, which you can carry you can carry on the train or whatever. It's very compact. It even has a way to put it over your back if you want. But you can certainly carry it in the field. It's all packed in here. It's very, um, you can fold it up very small. Here I've taken it out, and you can see that it's the three-legged tripod kind of design. There's three legs, and they're telescoping legs just like a camera tripod. And you, they have these little switches, and little locks, and you can unlock things and pull things out. Here I pulled the rubber feet off, but that's okay. And so you can see that they can become quite tall. Let's start with it in its shortest incarnation, because maybe you're a person who wants to uh, do watercolor sketching while sitting. That's entirely possible. There are three legs and they don't play the same role. The back leg hikes back and there's this piece of aluminum that comes with it and you can see that what it does is to control the spread of the legs which makes it extra sturdy. So there you have it. There it is in its lower incarnation. It's got an adjustment here for moving this back and forth. And if you prefer to sit, you can do that. And here I like to carry a board and put all my watercolor stuff on it. So it's kind of like a desk. And it slides back and forth if I loosen the thing up and, and tighten it. And it holds the board. And I have my paint box, my blocks, my water. You can use a larger or smaller board if you want. This is if you want to use it as a desktop, which I do. You put everything on there. Or if you have a large block, you can put simply, you know, it will hold the block of watercolor paper. And uh, you can install this instead of a board. But I like to use a board and make a little desk. What I want to show you now is the various heights because it's really quite clever at that. I take my brushes and stuff off and my block. It's very adjustable. So I actually do not like to paint while sitting, but some people do. There's another recommended way to paint which is to have your watercolor block or wherever you're working at waist height. So if you could be painting the way here, I could put that block in here or my board and paint at this height. And uh, another alternative obviously is to go to the full height. It's very nice. It's just very clever design and uh, has these locks so you don't have to guess it where to put it. And I can't imagine but that you would be more adept at these things than I am. But even a person like myself could handle the Wizard Newton Bristol watercolor easel. It's this part up here that makes it a watercolor easel. It's got a hook off here where you can hang your water bucket. It's on the same piece of aluminum that controls the spread of these front two legs. And you can see that it's got this lock here. So if you want, you can put your block of paper or a board with your paper taped down to it. You can put it at a steep angle or you can lay it flat. And this is the adjustment for how big a block that you put in there. So it's the watercolor version of the Bristol easel. 
He has this control up here. Betty's not with us. Betty's an indoor cat. She can't be outside because she beats up the neighborhood cats if she's out. So she's inside screaming that she has a labor ticket to work outside on the studio, but she doesn't. Anyway, um, this is it. I really recommend it. It's a very nice unit. The Bristol watercolor easel. Thank you.